Hi Virgo, welcome to my third channel, my Virgo only channel. My name is Chelsea and it's reading for those of you currently in a new romantic connection. We're going to find out what is their intention with you. Today is the 28th of October 2024. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 7.38 p.m. And Virgo, I'm giving away free personal reading once a week for a lucky winner. To enter, hit like, subscribe, and comment below. I love Virgo. If you have commented before, you can do it again. It will increase your chance in winning. And winners will be announced on the community page weekly. All right, Virgo, let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo. Currently in a new romantic connection. What's your person's intention with Virgo? Hmm. Whoa, what's going on? Oh my god, what's going on here? Ace of Cups of Verse at the bottom of the deck. Now, Virgo, what I'm seeing here is that the person you're currently in a romantic connection with, okay, could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, could be any sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Scorpio, uh, Pisces, Cancer. But Virgo, they're keeping tabs on you, okay? Like, they're literally searching for red flags. Like, they're trying to see if there are any red flags about you. Um, or because it feels like with the Ten of Swords, Ace of Swords, if they find any red flags or a non-negotiable deal breaker, they will they'll cut you off. They'll end this connection. Because the moon could mean they have doubts. Because it's new, right? And when I say new, maybe it's like one year or less. But to be honest, Virgo, I say this all the time. You don't really know a person until like a really, really lengthy period of time. Some people don't even know who, who their person truly is until they get married. So. so I feel like Virgo, they have a lot of doubts. The moon... Four Pentacles of Verse, they will end this connection if they see like they're deal breakers or potentially you will hurt them, you will betray them or something here. I think it has something to do, they're kind of jaded, maybe it has something to do with their past because Seven of Swords here is in reverse. So maybe they have caught somebody lying, cheating before and if they sense that about you where they can't trust you, they will end this connection, the tower. Possibly ending it like unexpectedly could also just ghost on you. Like ghost, yeah, just ghost you or just like poof, gone, disappear. Um, weird. So weird. Not a pentacle, some of verse. If they were to find out that, you know, you're actually still talking to other people, you're not really, you know, single. Bear in mind, Virgo, this is like a very, very, very new person. I feel like very new, okay? Um, let's pull out more cards here. Ace of Cups and Reverse. They're not emotionally involved or, I mean, they're not emotionally invested yet. Strength and Reverse. Page of Wands and Reverse. Similar Cups. Looks like they do have a lot of doubts about you. They don't really know who you are. Hmm. They question a lot of things, or maybe it could be, I don't know, but either it has something to do with your past trauma, or maybe lately you've been acting a little bit different, or there's something questionable. So the cups, a lot of questions here, right? His, his or her head doesn't matter, he, she's not gender specific, but... It's in the clouds. It's like, I don't know really Virgo. Like, is Virgo like this? Is Virgo like that? Will Virgo cheat on me? Blah, blah, blah. So, um, you're not emotionally invested yet. And again, strand of verse. It looks like there's somebody who has no patience whatsoever. Page of Wands in verse. 
there is a likelihood they will just end it, end this connection if they see any red flags again, or just like ghost you, just disappears. Kind of dangerous, to be honest. And it also feels like maybe this is something that they've done before in the past to like others. Let's see more. Virgo, make sure if you want a more accurate reading, you can book me. All info is below. Unless, you know, if you want a free personal reading, you can try and catch me on the 15th of November. Uh, during my live stream, I'll be giving free personal reading for about an hour. So don't miss it, okay? And you have to subscribe now. Don't do it later because I'm going to limit it for only subscribers. Subscribers who have been subscribed for a while for a period of time um i'm gonna filter it anyways uh let's continue continue here with your reading we've got the ten of pentacles queen of swords i always read the queen of swords it's as you queen of pentacles in reverse i guess virgo it may also have something to do with you know the things that you have said apparently because the queen of swords the sword is in upright position the queen of swords is no bs no nonsense um seems to be somebody really honest but i feel like virgo they still have questions whether you are truly honest or not they have a lot of doubts whatever you told them they still have a lot of doubts because queen of pentacles here is in reverse too so that means this is your energy that means they don't know if you're somebody committed or somebody they would like to commit to or are you good with money or are you bad with money are you it could be anything okay but when queens are in reverse something is kind of off so they might either they have already seen like something is kind of off or if they haven't seen that they are they're looking for it okay they could be looking for like again like red flags it could be like a small thing, but it could also be a big thing. For example, if somebody lies about their, if they're still single or if they're still connected with an ex or not, or if they're a smoker, some people, they don't like smokers, or if they're a drinker, it can be anything, okay? But the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, again, Virgo, they either have seen something about you that may have caused them some concern or they're just actively looking for it okay let's see a little bit more Virgo the pentacles in reverse the empress the fool in reverse the emperor in reverse okay so there's an emperor and the empress here they want to see also if both of you are actually compatible long term wise okay because these are this couple is a long term couple um they don't want to make, they don't want to be silly or make the wrong move or, or make the mistake, I would say, to take a new leap of faith with you because I feel like this person doesn't trust you unless it will also be reversed, uh, Virgo. They may think that it is a problem that you do not trust them or that you're spying on them or that you're asking them too many questions. They don't like that. It could be that as well, okay? feel like pulling out these romance angels here let's see a little bit more Virgo whoa express your love past life relationship heart to heart conversations honeymoon religious factors keep an open mind so they are keeping an open mind because the religious factors could mean there is something different between the two of you now I always read it as either different religion or different ethnicity different race um location issues or it could be because someone was married before um someone has already already has a child some people for some people that could be like a deal break breaker as well um Oh, an age gap. It can be anything, but but they're keeping an open mind though. But also at the same time, if they see things, things don't work out. Like if it just doesn't align, they would just like 
forget about the whole thing just like that so i would say be um, extra careful with this person okay or if you're like the queen of swords here if you have too high of an expectation or if you're too strict or you're there's something here where if they think that they can't handle it, they can't handle you or your past or what you want or what you don't want, they might just ghost you. Heart to heart conversations, past life relationship, express your love. I actually don't see them like emotionally um, invested yet, okay? Maybe their intention is to want to express to you these things. Because there's also an Ace of Swords. Maybe their intention is to tell you something, tell you the truth. And it might be kind of shocking. Maybe it has something to do with their past. Their intention is to tell you that. What has happened in the past. Maybe it has something to do with an ending uh, or a separation. A Ten of Swords. Trauma from the past secrets maybe they're going to reveal to you their secrets okay all right Virgo. this is your reading i hope it serves you well don't forget to hit like share and subscribe i'm open for personal readings if you like to book me all info is below and make sure you don't miss the 15th of november on my main channel chelsea love tarot make sure you subscribe to my main channel because i go live there very often and on the 15th of every month, I will go live and give free personal readings. And thank you so much for those of you who have joined the membership on this channel. I really appreciate it. And I will go live, go live on this channel, but it's gonna, going to be limited for the members only for free personal readings. And uh, if the subscribers want to, if you're not a member, you can super chat me. All right. Take care, Virgo. I hope to see you back here again soon. I love you. Bye.